In the world of speed and fast-paced cow work, this is a bit that I find to be very effective, good to the horse, and placed in any hand can be the kind of bit that will put together the right amount of leverage, the right picture, to control a very fast, high-energy horse and to protect the rider from any possibility of under control. There's no question we go to compete. We sometimes choose a bit that's going to be a little more assertive because we have to have that ultimate control that comes with the use of different kinds of leverages. We're going to look at this bit and recognize that we do have some of those design features that are kind to the horse. We have the dog bone in the center preventing the nutcracker effect. We have uh, sweet iron inlay here that allows for the horse to salivate. It has a fast twist, which is going to bring it to be just that little bit more assertive than no twist or a slow twist, giving contour and texture to make that horse want to be just a little more focused, we say. The real unique feature of this, and we sometimes call these an elevator bit, some people do refer to them as gag bits. We'll want to look at the feature and how that works. In its proper position on the horse, this, should, this piece should be relaxed and hanging nicely in the horse's mouth when at rest. As a horse becomes a little bit stronger, more aggressive in their desire to compete, as we pull back, this ought to slide upward and, as you can see, create a little more tension, putting more pressure to the roof of the horse's mouth. As all the other leverage bits, this curb chain in place would put a very assertive hold to the horse's bit as it rises up and creates more contact, more pressure, and so you'll have a horse that, let's call it, they get a little bit of warning. We begin to pull back, it raises up, that's why they call it the elevator, it comes up, that's going to put them in a very strong sense against the roof of their mouth, somewhat why some people do call it a gag bit. So with this bit, I might put it on a very strong, competitive kind of team penning or ranch sorting horse, and or some of my, ga my game horses, my play day horses, especially when they have a rider who's truly just learning. It's still kind enough, but assertive enough to work in that picture.